All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. And today we're going to be talking about CJ on 32s. I actually wanted to finish off uh, Mike Ray Vlogs as a live stream. We dropped part one a couple days ago, at least probably like five, six days ago. At least when this video comes out on the channel, probably be like five days ago, something like that. And even in that video, part one, if you guys haven't checked it out, in the comment section, Darrell the Savage, all right, that's another YouTube channel. We kind of talked about him in the past as well. Left a comment in there talking about these raffles, right? CJ's raffles taking advantage of his own people, his own community. And speaking of raffles, CJ just dropped another raffle, man. I told you guys he's going to be back to back to back. He needs he needs that money, man. He really He's really going after his community to try to live that lifestyle, man. I think now he's giving away, um, I think it's like a super stock or something like that. It's another Dodge a Dodge Challenger, right? He's giving away so many of those. And I told you guys, he's just stocking up on inventory. Once he puts the wheels and a few customizations or whatever, it's a raffle car, man. It's back at it again. Back to back to back raffle. So we're going to get into um, part two. We're going to try to finish off um, Mike Gray's. Uh, he dropped this stream a couple days ago. And then it looks like he actually went live yesterday because CJ is, um, I think he's in Vegas now, right? I, I saw something about it on uh, on his ig so this is what Durrell the savage left um and this is another youtube channel also he says he picks and chooses the winners i've been saying this for the longest pay close attention to them instagram lives he picks and chooses the winners i've been saying this for the longest pay close attention to them instagram lives right now this is um uh, he's one of the winners actually Darrell the savage is actually one of the winners in the past and this is something else now that i think about it is why does cj why does cj announce the winners on instagram live why does he not announce them on on youtube like he records it on he records a live stream on Instagram. That's just something else I just noticed now. I just I just thought of it when I read that comment by Darrell the Savage. Like, why does he not go on YouTube Live and actually do the same thing, right? Because and it's always like he's always got some hiccups. Something always like either is delayed or the file isn't like uploaded correctly or something like that. There's there's something something pretty bizarre about these raffles. But we're gonna get right into this. Um, this uh, live stream with uh, Mike Ray. Like I said, I wanted to finish off. This is the second half. If you haven't seen the first half, make sure you guys go check it out on the channel. No, it's different, nigga. You buying something when you go to the lottery and you're donating when you go to this nigga. Y'all slow. I know you brainwashed, my nigga. <laughs> He's hustling his own people. He claiming to be helping his people. Yeah, right. Y'all keep, um, keep giving him money. Exactly. Stunner reset it one time. He, 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 he did what he did, and he, he, he let niggas know this is a donation. It went to the point where if I don't make enough money, I'm going to um, extend the giveaway. Now you sound money hungry, but now you give it away on a day. Come on, make it make sense, man. Make it make sense. Yeah, and he's got, yeah, it's, it's a super stock. So he's giving away. I told you guys, man. I literally told you when he picked up this car. I told you, a lot of people are like, oh, no, he's not going to give away the super stock. That's like a uh, like a special edition or something. Man, ain't no special edition, all right? CJ drives exotic cars now. Lamborghini, McLaren. Uh, so he's got, yeah, he's got the Urus, the Huracan Technica, the Aventador SVJ, the McLaren. He ain't going to drive no Dodge He's just goofing around, man. He's he's got you guys so fooled. You guys are so brainwashed, and he's literally just taking advantage of his own people, the black people. He's taking advantage of the black community, Latino community, his own people. It's not like he's taking advantage of rich people. He's taking advantage of his own people. That's crazy. Yes, yeah, people, it's real. Cry. I'm fuck it. I'll be trying to give him the benefit of doubt. Them prices actors looking at us. I'll pay a nigga $50, $100, whatever I got to do to act like this shit. You seen what pretty boy Fredo be doing? He gave a nigga, nigga $2,000. I like he won that shit. And soon when he cut the camera, he asked for that $2,000 back. Like, I'm going to need that back, my nigga. <laughs> make it make sense. This the same nigga that been bragging about a bitch. Come on, man. You think this nigga really giving away a hundred thousand, some thousand car? He never gave his dad a hundred and some thousand dollar car. 
He never did nothing for his family. They got to do with a hundred thousand. You think he spent a hundred K on his family? He gonna give a hundred K away, away to a random ass nigga? Hell no, get the fuck out. He gave his dad, I mean, I don't know. Last time I saw the video, he gave his dad like one of those like senior citizen looking Cadillacs. Uh, and it wasn't even like a top of the line type of Cadillac. That thing was probably like 30 grand, 40 grand, something like that. And then he gave his son a like a, it wasn't even like a top model um, charger. It was like, I think it might have been like an RT or something like that. It wasn't anything special. And he's got his original baby mother. Man, that dude, CJ, is a clown, man. That dude is a straight-up clown, man. He's just taking advantage of his own people. It's sad, man. And the people are... It, it's always, like, the poor people, the innocent people that feel like um, this guy is actually doing anything special, man. He ain't doing... He's just playing with your brain. That's all he's doing. He's gotten you guys so fooled. Here, unless he that selfish. Unless he that selfish. I find it hard to believe that CJ gonna give a hundred thousand dollar car to a random ass nigga and your kids ain't wearing no designer. They ain't even had that opportunity to change their life with a hundred thousand dollars. Put a hundred and fifty thousand. Shit, his kids all live at one house, man. They all live with their mom, man. And that's not even their mom's house, man. Let's not even get started with that, man. This is, this is so embarrassing, man. This man left a good woman and his kids to go chase around strippers and dancers and get dancers pregnant and then hang out with a bunch of underage girls. And you and you call this motivation? You guys call this crap motivation and inspirational? You left a good woman and your kids to go hang out with dancers and strippers? And that's motivation to you guys? Is that what it is nowadays? That's so inspirational to go hang out with dancers and strippers and hang out with baddies. But you got your kids all packed like a sardine in one house, man. Come on, man. That's what's wrong with people. It's crazy. I'm not in your family possession and see how that change their life. You can, they can start a business. They can do this and that. Why your sons ain't got nothing going on for themselves? No businesses. Fuck it. Why they ain't got a big studio somewhere renting a studio room with an engineer charging people to make money? He in this house doing that shit, calling his friends to record. How far can CJ motivate child niggas to buy in this shit? Like, like what else do y'all? Zay, man, Zay keep posting on IG. He's always asking for money, like, oh, I I'm selling banners, YouTube banners and collabs for, like, he's like, he can make thumbnails for, like, $20 or the uh, the YouTube background, like, on the main channel. He does it, like, for $50 or something like that. It's like, damn, man. Yo, dad is a multimillionaire that spends thousands and thousands and thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, on Louis Vuitton, Dior, taking out all these dancers, these strippers, getting them pregnant, going to restaurants. And he's got you guys here, like, with your mouth wide open, trying to sell banners for YouTube channels and little thumbnails. It's like, what is going on? What is going on? How is this? How the hell is this considered inspirational? How is he an inspirational man if he ain't taking of his own? He's not taking care of his own kids, his own damn kids. Wake the fuck up. He's not taking care of his own damn kids, man. They all live in that same goofy house, man. What are y'all talking about? Talking about he's inspirational, motivational. Wake the fuck up. I want to know how, what is it? Make it make sense. This nigga gave away a $150,000 car to this bum ass, fat ass nigga. And his kids never had a $150,000 opportunity. And they're around a millionaire. Let's be honest. My dad is so-called millionaire. Well, you know CJ made a million off of this shit. We never had a hundred thousand dollar opportunity in our life. That's like Mr. Organic with that with his shit. He never spent no money like that. I get CJ doesn't give a damn about no damn kids, man. He don't care. And I, l l let me say this, man. Let me because I see a bunch of stupid idiots like like I said, brainwashing is at an all time high right now. They're gonna be like, oh, well, Zay Zay is young. All these kids are young. How about you guys look at the Ace family? Look at the damn Ace family. Look at how those little kids are getting treated and pampered and spoiled. Those are little kids. He's got grown kids. He ain't taking care of kids. There's no point for these kids to go to school when your dad is a multimillionaire. He can have so many businesses. Instead, he's got cars, 15 cars sitting in a garage, and then just hanging out with a bunch of dancers and strippers at clubs. 
and then really treating Marty Mart like his kid. That's not inspirational. I, I mean, he's entitled to do whatever the fuck he wants to do with his life. I'm not saying he can't do that. He can do whatever he wants to do. His money, he got, he's got it from a bunch of idiots that are brainwashed from his own community. But don't tell me that this man is inspirational or motivational. That's no, there's no damn inspiration. There's damn motivation coming out of this man. All right? This is all some goofy-ass shit. His credit, he caught up on his mind with a couple like five bands a couple of times, dropping some money off to her. But CJ, never stop being brainwashed. Ask those type of questions like, why he ain't never spent a hundred K on his family? Why he ain't never spent a hundred K on the crew? He spent five thousand on each chain and gave them bitches away. Let me hear what y'all got to say. Let me put y'all in the chat that way they can uh, see what's going on with y'all. Shout out to my chat. Shout out to everybody in here, man. Shout out to my subscri my subscribers. Shout out to y'all. We got we got what we just had sixty people in here. We got fifty people rocking. First day back on live, jumping out the algorithm and back in this motherfucking like that. Cause I'm Mike Grant. Let's get it. Shout out to y'all. But I'm just keeping it one hundred next level, Virgo. On what though? Let me hear what y'all got to say. I, I ain't even get a chance to catch. Let me catch up, man. Let me just catch up. Then the questions I'd be asking like this nigga never spent the hundred K on his family. Like he tell all these niggas that they can change they, they this could change your life. Them niggas still like I got my own shit. This nigga Zay ain't even got a crib in the hood. Like, come on man, how manly is these motherfuckers? He always pushing people to sell them cars once they win. I think he gives them money too they uh to say that they won and take the raffle money and um he sell the car himself to the dealership. Or probably have them sell it, you know what I mean? He ain't got to live around right now to be busting a move. We got to see who going to be doing this shit for him now. CJ gave dude $20,000 to pretend that he won and then took the car to the... Man, I want to know, man, why is it like the majority... Yes, I said majority of these raffle winners, they all look like... They all like... They're all the same profile. They're all the same profile on every aspect, Right. It's like almost every single raffle winner, almost every one of them, the majority, they all spend pennies, right? Like the last one, somehow he said he spent $35. I don't know how he spent $35 unless he bought like one ticket and then he bought five tickets, right? Which makes no sense. Why would you spend more money on one ticket and then get a lot? It, it, it doesn't make sense, right? But it's always, it's always they spend very little money, but then you got some goofy clowns out here really spending several thousand dollars. So you're telling me the guy that spent very little is always winning versus the people that are buying a lot? That don't make sense. The more you buy, the more the chances of you winning should go up, right? I mean, that's how how that how probability works, statistics. How that that's all that's how it works. The more uh, the more entries you have in something the more likelihood you would win versus somebody that just has a very little chance and buys a, buys a small quantity, right? But it's always the same profile. It's always broke people too, all right? Majority of them look pretty broke. So I'm like, is it like that by design? You know, because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like, when Darrell the Savage left that comment and Darrell actually communicated with CJ, right? He's had communication with him. I'm like, hold on, man. Something ain't adding up here. Like, I've known it wasn't adding up, but when Darrell said it, it's not adding up. It's all, he chooses the winners. I'm like, you know, that might be a point, because you look at all the profiles of these guys that win, and they all pretty much have the exact, exact same profile. They all spend very little. They all have, like, they're not nothing really special, right? They're not, like, successful people in their own aspects. Um, so they're all, like, regular, regular folks. If not, they're broke. So I'm like, is it like that by design or is are they family? Like, there's a lot of questions to this, man. A lot of questions. And why is it his own community that he's taking advantage of, man? That's crazy. So when it mean that someone brought that car from him, it could be like that silent killer. I'm glad you've seen it from that angle. It's okay to look at it from those type of ways because you might get close headed on home. Like, you know what? That dude look like that. What happened type shit? Like some shit he do. Uh, Next Level Virgo said, the funny thing, CJ is following everything Stunner does from raffling to um, C8 to um, interviewing women in a car to looking um, looking the same, um, what? To looking at the same old schools. This dude, CJ, is a straight clown. I agree with you, Next Level Virgo. Yeah, that's definitely true. Like, I used to actually think, 
Because like I said before, I don't really follow... I never really follow CJ on 32s um, all that much. I only started really listening to him and uh, then noticing the patterns of like him taking advantage of people from Mike Ray. Because Mike Ray was the one that really discovered him. Um, like I used to think that CJ was the one that kind of like... He was kind of like the first mover in creating all these like different things. But it's not him. It's actually more like Stunner Reese and Bam Man Kevo. They're the ones that kind of paved the way. And this clown CJ is just taking advantage of people now. He's like, fuck it. I'm just going to take advantage of my own people. They're stupid enough. They're brainwashed enough. They follow me every single day. They waste their life away. You guys are wasting your life away. Waste. Wasting hours and hours every single day, weeks, months. Just calculate how many hours you guys spend watching this clown CJ that doesn't even give two dams about you. He doesn't give two fucks about you guys. No fucks. He don't even give fucks about his own family. You think he gives any fucks about you? Of course not. Talking about all oh, oh, the raffles. Without I, I made money. I had all these cars before raffle. You ain't had no shit. You only had a Lamborghini, that white Huracan Spider. That's all you had. And when you had it, you knew. You can tell like he genuinely got it through hard work. Now all that shit he got it ain't through no hard work. He don't know what hard work is. This man knows how to take advantage of people. As far as the CA though, you know CJ. He <laughs> shit first on the Reese. He just running out of ideas. Like that's 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 his money. He thought that was that was supposed to be his money shot. That was supposed to be his. Like okay, I'm gonna go all in. Maybe I can reel in CJ audience to try to win this C8. Shit, I don't know how that went. Let me raffle my grill so I can barbecue by by a barbecue restaurant. Um, exactly. See, this is what I mean. Like he said, oh, this shit is. Everybody can do this. There's so much money out here. Ain't no so much money out here, man. Stop all that cap, all right? All you do is raffle shit. Ain't no so much money, nothing. You just raffle shit. That's why he's doing back-to-back-to-back raffles. That's, like like I said, at this point, like this person said, I mean, you might as well raffle off grills and micro microwaves and phones and, like, even, like, his little uh, his little son, right, his adopted son, Marty Mar, was giving away an iPhone 14 or whatever, right, and a... a I think it was like a TV. Like that's what that's what people would be doing. All right, he talks about there's so much opportunity. I ain't no so much opportunity. That cut it out, man. Stop all that capping. You live off of these raffles. These raffles fund your lifestyle. And like I said before, man, just do basic math. All right, people, pull out a calculator. Do some basic math. Just just multiply five percent. Or 10%, all right? Let's just lowball it. 5% of his subscriber count on just one platform. I'm not talking about YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. I'm just pick one damn platform, right? Pick YouTube, pick Instagram, and multiply his number of followers by 5%. Just 5%, all right? And then multiply that number, whatever that number is, right? Multiply that number. Like last time I used that example of 10% because it's a little bit easier to figure out, easier to calculate. 10% 10% of 750,000 subscribers is 75,000 people. That's 75,000 people in one raffle, estimated, right? He's done how many raffles? More than 10. That's over 700,000 transactions. That's just $20 a pop, all right? I'm just saying people are spending the, the absolute minimum, $10, $20. He's made millions of dollars off his own people. You guys throw away money. You don't get anything, all right? People are like, oh, 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 well, Street Speed 717, he's a white guy. You don't talk about white people. Street Speed 717 sells merch. Sells merch. Same thing like Corey SSG was doing, right? He was selling merch, T-shirts, sweaters, whatever it is. You walked away with something. You bought something. And at the same time, you're entered to win. CJ don't give you guys shit. He don't give you guys shit. All you do is get a, he pees right in your mouth. That's all you get. You give him money, then he says, open your mouth. Let me pee inside. That's what he does. All right. Now, he doesn't do it like that. Like he doesn't literally physically do it, but he does it like psychologically. Beast Mode Barbecue said, Ralph reacts saying, it's, it's a raffle, not a donation drive. When you invest in a raffle, there's a big chance you will not win. That's just facts. It's not a raffle, my nigga. It's a donation, bro. Like... Who said it's a raffle, not a donation? That's like me saying we live in America. Like, like nigga, nigga, you, you this is the United States, motherfucker. 
what we living in is the United States. It's like me just saying that. We all know if you woke, this is not the United States. The United States is a corporation that is based off in Washington, D.C. You feel me? <laughs> what is really America? Talk about a rap for just a title, man. Y'all brainwashed. Y'all better wake up. CJ knows what he's doing, man. He knows people are dumb enough to fall for this stuff time and time and time again. But what gets me pissed off is that when he says, oh, there's so much opportunity out here. There's so much money to be made out here. Okay, that's that's cool. All right, let's I know what he's saying is cap. I know it's all BS. But let's just think let's just let's take this one step at a time. If there's so much money out here and you claim you know how there's so much money, so much opportunity, how come you're not providing that knowledge to your own people, to your own followers, to the black people, to the Latino community, to the Asian community, whichever community you support or which community supports you or which one you take the most advantage of, how come you don't turn around and give them knowledge? to go out here and actually take advantage of these opportunities. How come? You know why? Because it's all cap. There's no opportunities. There's no knowledge. All right. If there was, then his kids wouldn't, they would have easily been way in a way better position. If there was that opportunity that he keeps talking about, then the guys around him would have already taken advantage of those opportunities like Marty Mar. Marty Mar would not have to be on his knees with his mouth wide open, sucking CJ's dick every opportunity he gets. All right. If that stuff was true, which again, he says is true, then how about you actually provide it, provide that knowledge, man. We need, they, you know, you guys heard the saying, right? Words are all cheap, right? It's your actions, right? Take some action. Tell that asshole to take some action and show us where that knowledge is, right? Because it's, oh, there's so much opportunity out here. There ain't no so much opportunity out here. There's only raffles out here. That's how you make most of your money. That's why you do raffles back to back to back. It ain't like he doing anything different. He does raffles. That's all he does. Everything he does is strategically done to take advantage of people. You guys are the customers. You guys are the buyers. You guys are the ones throwing your money. If he would just come out and just say it like that, it would make perfect sense. And we wouldn't need to make a reaction video. But he tries to be all sneaky. Oh, there's so much opportunity. You guys don't know there's so much money out here. You guys can easily get on top of this game. Well, how about you provide it? And since you, you claim you know so much and there's so much opportunity and knowledge out here for people to gain and make financial success out of, how come you're not providing it? It's like, what's wrong with this idiot? Fuck that. Here go, here go, here go, here go, here go, here go. A key word, fundraiser right there. Fundraiser. You're donating to this shit, man. I better read this shit. I don't even think he's licensed um, to do these raffles. I don't think he's licensed. This is what why you say no more lost donor information. You're donors. These is all donors. You're a donor. Like you ain't playing no raffle. You become a donor. And what's so crazy is they're like just regular people. These are just, you know, average people, just hardworking people. Right. All the people that are donating or giving him money, they're just regular folks. It's not like he's getting donations. You know, if you want to think about it like like a like a political thing, like a campaign or whatever, you know, at least like politicians, they get donations from millionaires, right? People that actually got a lot of money to give them. CJ is just taking advantage of regular people, average Joes, right? Instead of giving back to those people, he's taking away money from them to live his lifestyle. And then he wants to sit on here and brag about it, right? Show off all these cars and shit like, oh, this is, there's so much money to be made out here. It's like, what, what are you talking about, man? Are you, are you, are you seriously saying the bullshit you be saying? Because it's all bullshit. You know it's bullshit. It's time for you to wake up and tell people the real truth, man. Stop saying that there's so much money out here. That ain't so much money out here, man. Stop all that bullshit. You might as well donate your motherfucking kidney or something to this nigga. <laughs> my nigga raising money, my nigga.
CJ talking about, uh, you know what I mean? He he want to say that he like he want out like he the first one doing it. CJ, look what it said, my nigga. It said since 2013 they've been doing this shit since 2013. CJ, you was not the first nigga to do this shit, my nigga. You probably one of the niggas in your out in this algorithm in this box. I say. Like I always put this in, we in this box. You the first nigga that probably did it. Got everybody else wanting to do your thirty-two game box. Talk about nigga, this a fucking donation, my nigga. He said, "Damn, I gotta call a client. I'm going to miss um all the good shit. Um, be back, y'all. Okay, next level, Virgo. One hundred percent facts, Mike. Appreciate it, y'all." Just had another. Some Minnesota. Someone try to hear me out. Weigh y'all options out. I just want to understand how this nigga give this dude right here a hundred fifty k car, and you ain't give your baby mama that shit. We know you make money, CJ, but damn, that's why I'm like you ain't get your, you ain't give your girl a Range Rover. <laughs> A lot of niggas don't even know how much Range Rovers cost, shit. You could have bought her a little hundred thousand dollar Range Rover or something. She driving a Chevy Traverse. Oh, what you gonna do? You gonna sell it or keep it? Keep it to the time being, the baby, right? You know, I see how you make I'm a They all say the same thing, man. That's that's what's so bizarre. That's why I was like, when Darrell the Savage left that comment, and he was saying, you know, CJ picks these winners. I'm like, you know, he might got a point. You might, Darrell, you might, Darrell, you might actually have a point. Cause I'm like, these guys all say the same thing. Once they get the car, they's like, they want to sell it. All right, the majority of them, some of them keep it, and I think he's got to, he's got to keep it like that. You know, he's got to keep these raffles like a mixture. Like some people actually do get the car, and some don't get the car. But then you got to think about it. This is a Z06, so. Some of the cars that he gave away before weren't that expensive. They were probably like sixty, seventy thousand dollars. So I think the cars that are like under a hundred grand are the ones that people probably kept, and the ones that are over a hundred grand are the ones that are um, being sold off. Because yeah, I mean Becky, you know that Becky was like a, a goofy ass looking project car. That thing is not a hundred grand, man. Like those, all those uh, the the cars that he first gave out. I think the first couple were the legit ones. I, after the yeah. so that means we gotta run a vet number just to see if he gonna get it registered. Be a smart choice. Smart choice, bro. Yeah. Don't run it up because now they're starting to get out there. Uh -huh. So I see them dropping a little bit more. So you gonna want to get that one? Wow, I wouldn't take under one sixty. One sixty. Guys, just pull up Auto Trader, pull up uh, cars.com. You can get a brand new, yes, I said a brand new Z06, right? The C8 Z06, like the one he has, right? They're like 140. All right, I don't know what, I don't know what, where, where he's living on or what planet he, he's talking about, all this goofy shit. 160. That's like if you're in an area that's like maybe that doesn't have that didn't have too much inventory of Corvettes, but I'm talking about do a nationwide search. Yeah, you can, you don't have to do some driving, but I mean, a lot of his winners magically show up the next day whenever he announces the winners, which I thought that was bizarre. Like every single winner just magically shows up the next day, man. They they must they they must have a a, f a faster way of communicating or uh, transporting themselves there than UPS, man. Because every single winner, that, that the winners just show up the next day. But like I said, go on Auto Trader or uh, Cars.com, and uh, you guys will find brand new ones for like one forty. That's life changing shit. You can buy so much shit, start so much shit. Yeah, man, look, I see you do it, man. I see you. Look, he said, I seen you do it. You ain't seen him do shit. These niggas be dick riding, praising CJ for no, for nothing. Like, nigga, all this nigga know is about. They all love to suck CJ's dick, man. They all like professional dick suckers. Um, and there's a lot of these dick suckers, by the way. There's even some on YouTube channels. Like, there's one guy that loves to talk about me. 
Uh, he really wants to suck my dick, but nah, man, I'm not into that kind of shit. You can suck CJ's dick. That's why you keep uh, you keep trying to act like it. And I know, man, CJ's probably paying you off, all right? Because it don't make no sense for anybody to do videos to get, uh, like, 200 views in, like, five days, man. It's obviously that you're a part of their um, payroll, man, just like Marty Marr, just like all the other guys. They're all part of his payroll. But somehow there's so much money out here, right? There's so much money out here to be made, but the guys closest to him have never been able to tap into it, which doesn't make sense to me. If C if what CJ is saying is right, there's so much money out here, so much money for everybody to eat, right? There's so much money for everybody to eat. Then why the hell are you doing raffles back to back if there's so much money out here to eat? If there's so much money out here, right? Just forget about it. Forget about the raffle part. If there's so much money out here. How come you ain't helping your own people eat? How come you ain't sharing that knowledge? How come you ain't teaching your own folks, your own people from your own community, family, black people, Latino people, Asian people? How come you ain't providing them knowledge to actually put that, put that, you put that, uh, those skills to use to generate money? If you care so much about people and there's so much money out here to be made because you, you've been around too long, you know exactly what's going on in the world, then how come you ain't sharing that shit? Because there's nothing for you to share. The only thing you make money off of is these raffles and YouTube AdSense. It's that simple. I don't know what the hell he... He, he, he just likes... He likes to play the mind games. It's all about mind games. CJ materialistic games. What CJ actually put this thing on? <laughs> CJ never came on his channel and told y'all how to make $2,000 without doing shit. CJ can't even tell you that. If you ask CJ some real questions, like CJ, man, how, is there, is, if you had any advice for your audience to make at least five grand a month, let's just say three grand a month to be stable, to take care of their basic needs, what advice would you give them to do that? How can you turn your side hustle to $5,000 a month? Or he gonna say a raffle looking at, oh, just keep grinding, man. You gotta just keep grinding and do YouTube. He, he always has like that bullshit ass speech. CJ is, is the, is the king of bullshit. He's all bullshit. CJ on 32s is the biggest bullshitter. This is why I said, if he wants to prove us wrong, how come, show me a video where CJ has come out all, he's notoriously known for saying there's so much money out here, there's so much opportunities, but CJ, you got, you got all your subscribers, the majority of your subscribers from CJ's back. You don't know what hard work is. You don't know what hard work is. Making videos every day is not hard work. All right. This man doesn't have to do any kind of intensive labor. He doesn't have to. He, he didn't spend decades in college learning any kind of like skill sets. You know, he ain't no lawyer. He ain't no doctor. He ain't no accountant where people have to go to school, acquire knowledge, go out in the in the in the in the work market and the job market, apply for a job. He don't know. He just picks up a fucking camera. And he, he complains that that's a lot of work, all right? But I want to, I still want to get back to the point where he said, he keeps on saying there's so much opportunities, there's so much fucking money out here, you guys don't know, you can make so much money out here, there's so much opportunity for everybody. If there is so much and you know so much, how come you ain't sharing that knowledge with your people? I'm talking about your people, sir, your own people, black people. Latino people, right? The people that put money in your pocket. How come you ain't sharing that knowledge with them? That's what I want to know. Because he keeps saying there's so much money out here. But if there was so much, how come you got so many dick suckers around you? How come Marty Marr is constantly on his knees with his mouth wide open? All right. Why did he have to leave the furniture store? Why did he stop doing DoorDash if there was so much money and opportunities out here? How come Swervo ain't taking advantage of those opportunities? Man, let's come on, man. Let's cut the crap, man. Cut the crap. I ain't got nothing specifically to tell you what to invest in. Why do niggas listen to niggas with materialistic games? That's my whole question. I'd rather go ask Batman Quibble that shit. Like, man, if there, you know what I mean? What advice can you give me or anybody out there that want to make at least 3000 five? I know that just, it, it may not sound like a lot, but it's something that can take care of people's basic needs. We're not trying to jump off the porch and be rich overnight, but what advice... Can you tell me, like, what, what's some good things to invest in without you saying stock markets and shit like that? You feel me? They don't got that type of shit to tell you. They ain't got that knowledge because if they did, Marty Mar wouldn't be around him.
butt soaking him and dick riding this nigga. His girl Lil probably the the job where been doing some shit. Everything is part of that little scheme they doing. Why do y'all niggas listen to these niggas, bro? And you want me to think this rap for real? You really want me to think this bum ass nigga got this C8? This don't, the last nigga that won the C8 was a nigga like him too that look like they drink beers all day. Come on, man. Look at Exactly, man. See, see, Mike Ray gets it, man. This is what I'm saying. With Mike Ray, if you watch his videos, you will learn something called critical thinking. And look, man, I'm not, I'm not throwing shade. I'm not saying CJ is a scumbag because he definitely has like symptoms of a scumbag. But what I'm saying is, if he's gonna come out here on his platform and tell you guys there's so much money out here, right? So much money. There's so much opportunities. You guys don't know you can easily make money out here, right? If what he's saying is true, right? I know it's not true, all right? Because everybody knows hard work is the only way to make money in this country. Um, but if what he's saying is true, there's so much money out here. You guys don't know about all these endless opportunities. Then stop doing all that talking, all right? Stop doing all that bullshit talking and show your people. I'm not saying show me. I'm saying show your people, the people that waste their life away watching hours and hours of your content. The, the least you can do is you can actually share this knowledge. I don't want, I don't want, oh, you could just keep grinding. I don't want that little lame ass excuse. I don't want that little lame ass, whatever he says to try to close the conversation. No, I need you, since you be talking about all this bullshit inspiration and motivational bullshit, you need to come out and tell people all that knowledge as to where they can become successful. Because that's what you say. You keep saying there's so much opportunity. You don't understand why people don't do this. There's so much money out here. There's so much out here. So many opportunities. How about you start? How about you close your mouth and you show the people, your people? Because this man doesn't do anything for his own people other than take advantage of them. He just takes money out of his own community. Just regular average people he takes money out of the community it ain't like he giving back to the community you know he takes the money out of the community to fund his lifestyle like some sloppy seconds a crisis actor let's get it together Hello? What's good? Shit going live? Yep, yep. Okay. That's what I be saying. But it ain't the knowledge, my nigga. It's like they so busy watching him for the materialistic game. They see what they can consume. See what he is like. Damn, but it ain't the knowledge, my nigga. It's like they so busy watching him for the materialistic gain. They see what they can consume. See what he is like. They consumers. They kids in the candy shop watching CJ. They actually window shopping. When you watching CJ, they them is all they window shopping down there, looking through a, a fucking glass they would never get through. Out of everything this nigga just said, like they be watching, but they don't pay attention to the knowledge. What knowledge do CJ drop? What? What video that you can you say you walked away from and learned something like damn with Mike? It's all these stupid slow brain idiots, man. And I get all these comments, and then I'm like, okay, you know, I'm I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. They're like, oh, oh, CJ, CJ spits knowledge. And then I go click on their Instagram profile. This dude got like five people living in one little tiny ass house. It's like what knowledge? I mean, if you if you if you claim you got knowledge. Then you you wouldn't be living like a bum. You wouldn't be living like five six people in a two bedroom house, sir. Like I get all these goofy. There's one guy named Robert. That dude is like in a wheelchair. He lives with like his wife and he's got four kids and his mom and his dad and his grandmother. They all live in a little ass tiny ass house. It's like, dude, you're all you're doing is you're wasting your life consuming CJ's bullshit. CJ is living off of you. I don't know. It's just like it's it's, it's mind boggling to understand that even like the goofy idiots that get on YouTube, right? There's one fat clown that uh, that talks about me, right? This dude has no life, right? He gets like 300 views every couple of days or whatever he does. It's like, dude, 
CJ ain't going to do nothing for you. You, you. you realize that, right? CJ don't care about you. CJ doesn't give a fuck about you, sir. You can, you can sit on here and suck his dick as much as you would like. You can play with his balls. You can put his dick, his sausage all over your mouth, down your throat, and do all that special tricks you want to do. But just know CJ don't care about you. He doesn't care about you. CJ doesn't even care about the guys that do follow him. He only cares about baddies. He just needs the men to fund his lifestyle. It's like, I, I guess people are like, this must be the new age, right? There used to be kids getting brainwashed. Now we got adult men getting brainwashed. That's why that, and, and it makes sense now because I, I used to, man, I used to like try to figure out what kind of men buy subscriptions for these OnlyFan girls. Like how are all, all these OnlyFan girls making so much money? And it's like men nowadays are a bunch of bitches. There's a lot of men that are a bunch of bitches. That's why... It, it, it's not I, like I said. I used to think it's shocking. I'm like, how do these how do these OnlyFans models make like five million dollars a year just selling pictures and videos? It's because you got men out here funding this stuff. You got a bunch of grown men acting like bitches nowadays. That's what CJ is doing. He's turned the 32 gang follower base into a bunch of bitches. They're a bunch of bitches. Just get they're working their jobs and they're giving their money away into these raffles. It makes perfect sense now. The, the the mentality, the IQ, the brain brainwashing of these folks, it's, it's alarming, man. This is like a serious disease. This is a serious disease, people. Like, men are not men anymore. There's no men. These men get on YouTube and watch hours and hours of these guys and then pay into raffles. Imaginary things, man. It's, it's crazy. Ray, you at least learn how to read niggas and shit. You learn some a little terms and shit. You know what I mean? At least with that, you get, you know what I mean? With me, you, you get to read them motherfuckers. You learn that type of shit. You know how to ask questions. Because some people just be like, with humans, they just, they don't read a lot and they just live. It's to the point where we move off of instincts now, not emotions and shit or whatever. Like, that's how animals move and shit. You watch CJ for so long, it's like they, they did, a scientist did an experiment with some fleas. He put the motherfucking fleas in a jar and covered up the top for three days. They kept on trying to bounce up off the thing. After three days, they stopped trying to bounce. He took the lid off of the motherfuckers, right? After three days, he took the lid off the fleas. The fleas just, they stayed in there. They didn't want to jump because they just put it in their head. They can't go further than what they, where they were trying to jump. So the fleas had babies, and the, guess what? The babies that came out the fleas, they never jumped because the mom, they, like, they got so used to it. So I put that type of, who is the fleas? That's why I say the sheeps and shit. Them be the people that be watching him and shit. Like, you can go further than this shit than watching them, bro. Like, YouTube never made my lifestyle or nothing. Like, I had to get this shit out for working a nine to five, hustling at that. I never got over nobody. I didn't have to. So stop being those fleas in that jar. It's crazy. A nigga tell you like, man, I take the lid off for people, and they're still but I can't jump that far. You would just, you can't just jump. But what knowledge is you getting from this nigga? You don't get no knowledge from him. He couldn't even tell you what he learned from CJ. He just say all this stuff and knowledge. That's general. That's a general ass subject right there. Be specific. What you seen him do? What made you want to hold the car down and all? CJ telling your ass you need to sell that motherfucker fast. Little do you read between the lines, CJ like these motherfuckers going down, sell it. At least get 150 for it. What time your flight got here? You uh, got like eight, 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 like nine, eight, like, like eight something right there. This man don't even know when he got, when his flight got down. Like this is what I mean. Like shit is like real fishy, man. It's all fishy. Just like Darrell the Savage said. I mean, Darrell's comment made me think, man. I was like, hold on, man. You know, he's got a point, man. A lot of this stuff is real fishy. And um, it's just crazy, man. People, men, men are not men anymore. They're not men anymore. I don't know what's going on. This is why, like I said, it was shocking to me when I was like, how did these OnlyFans girls make so much money off of selling video clips and pictures like shit you can see on porno sites why are men paying for this and i'm like now it makes sense because you got the same goofy ass clowns 
watching CJ on 32s. It makes perfect sense. You know, a bunch of bitches buying raffle tickets thinking they're going to win a car because they ain't men anymore. They can't work. They want to they wanna, they wanna sit home, watch videos all day long, and suck dick. That's the 32 gang. Um, but uh, it, it's crazy, man. It's just, this world is, like, real sad, man. It's, wow. But uh, anyways, just let me know what you guys think in the comment section.